The sound of loud thudding awoke Clayton. At first, he thought he was only dreaming, but when something hit him on the head and it hurt, Clayton knew he was awake. Clayton screamed. He was no longer in his bedroom. Still in his pajamas, he jumped up to get a better look at his surroundings. However, in doing so, he tripped and fell on the object that had hit his head. Clayton lay on the ground, next to a large gumdrop. Shakily, he sat up and examined the sugary treat. The gumdrop, which was a light shade of green, was shaped like a teardrop. Covered in white sugar, it sparkled brilliantly whenever light hit it. Although confused, Clayton was happy to find such a large candy. He was about to reach out and grab it, when suddenly a red gumdrop hit him on the head. Ouch! Clayton moaned while rubbing his head. Then a yellow gumdrop hit him. Clayton let out a scream of terror as he looked up to see the hundreds of gumdrops falling from the sky. Clayton curled in a small ball and put his hands over his head. He cringed every time a large gumdrop hit his back. As the gumdrops continued to rain on Clayton, he realized he needed to find shelter. He stood up and, keeping his head low, began to run. Suddenly, Clayton spotted a house that looked like it was made from gingerbread. When he reached the house, he pounded on the door. Clayton waited for a few moments, but no one answered. How did I get here? And where is here? Clayton questioned as he leaned against the side of the house. The thick frosting that hung over the edge of the roof provided Clayton with some protection. He waited until the raining of the gumdrops became less and then eventually stopped. Clayton looked in awe as the gumdrops melted into beautiful puddles of yellow, green, purple, red, and blue. Clayton stepped away from the gingerbread house to gaze upon it. The house stood only six feet tall and was 50 feet wide. The dark brown walls were held together by thick white frosting. The same frosting that decorated the edge of the roof and hung down like icicles. The frosting also outlined the doors and windows. When Clayton heard a dripping noise, he turned his attention to a long candy cane drain pipe. Running down the drain pipe was the melted gumdrops. Clayton watched in fascination as the gumdrop goo gathered into a multicolored puddle at the edge of the house. He kneeled down beside the puddle and stared at it. It's beautiful, Clayton said. He reached for the puddle of sugary goodness, all the while imagining how it would taste. Hold it right there, a small voice screamed. Terror-stricken, Clayton turned around slowly and then gasped in horror. Standing in the doorway of the gingerbread house was a small gingerbread boy. Adorned with sparkly blue sugar, the gingerbread boy had silver balls for eyes and a mouth made from licorice. He stood small at three feet and had dark gingerbread skin. The most magnificent aspect of the gingerbread boy was his human characteristics. He was shaped like a boy and could move easily. The gingerbread boy returned Clayton's stare. As he blinked, his silver ball eyes were momentarily covered by a thin layer of gingerbread. What are you? Where am I? Clayton asked suddenly, no longer feeling tempted to eat anything that came from this strange place. You're in the kingdom of sugar. Don't you know anything? The gingerbread boy asked while rolling his silver ball eyes. How did I get here? Clayton asked, feeling a lump grow in his throat. I can't tell you how you got here. But I can tell you why, the gingerbread boy said with a bit too much enthusiasm as he moved closer to Clayton. Feeling threatened, Clayton stepped backwards. All right, tell me why I'm here, he demanded, trying to sound brave. You've been chosen to come here because of your dedication to all things sugar, the gingerbread boy said, smirking. We want to repay you for your loyalty. Clayton continued to move back, 
as the gingerbread boy advanced towards him at a faster pace. Sugar tastes great, doesn't it? But I know something that tastes even better. What? Clayton asked, gulping in fear. He had a feeling that he wouldn't like the answer. Humans, the gingerbread boy yelled before leaping for Clayton. Clayton.